Hello, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the Scorpio solar partial solar eclipse, which is happening tomorrow, October 25th. But as I always say, time is not a linear straight line. It is cyclical. So if you find yourself at guided to this message and it's resonating for you and it is not October or eclipse season, but you're resonating with it. The message is for you. We always circle back to energies quite often as a matter of fact. So this is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Leo. What's going on Leo? Hope you're doing well. We are all in for some heightened emotions. The tension is pretty strong. We've had a lot of solar activity over the weekend, causing some glitches in technology as well as <laughs> glitches in our own energetic field. You may be feeling uh, woozy in the stomach or having sleep problems or other things. There's a lot going on. Leo. Okay. What's going on for Leo? Messages for Leo, please. As I'm staring at, I have, my niece gave this to me for Christmas one year. It's a lion made out of moonstone. And Leo Lion is staring right at me right now. Being brave, being strong, being courageous, but not egotistical. Self-aware. I'm hearing self-awareness. All right. On the floor. Oh, I love it. Yes. You are in touch with your feelings, self-aware, emotionally. You're diving in that, Leo. Getting a deeper understanding of why you feel the way you feel. Getting a deeper understanding of your emotional body, your emotional field, the power and strength in your emotions. Beautiful. How powerful the emotions really are and how they affect there's a ripple effect that even if you're not projecting it directly on somebody but maybe you're thinking about somebody there might be picking up that energetic energy telepathically or just energetically it's amazing if we humans all knew the depth of how our emotional energy affects the collective affects each other affects nature even. leo you're starting to pick that up but what a different world we would live in if everybody really truly understood that, you know? I hope to still be alive on this planet when that happens. <laughs> I don't know what lifetime that will be in, but we shall see. There's always infinite possibilities, right? So, Leo, for Leo. And I'm getting that you got some pretty intense feelings that have been coming up lately for this card to be your first card. Um, but High Priestess of Water is, you've got these emotions in check, not in check like you're suppressing them, but you're, you're not afraid of them anymore. You understand them. The reason you're afraid is... There is an emotional storm brewing inside of you all the time. But when you're living life and it's chaotic outside of, outside of your body, life is chaotic for you personally, that's because it's reading internal chaos, internal storms brewing around inside of you. And it's important to get an understanding of these things because we can't help it. Our emotions are our energy in motion but to understand how to guide and navigate them so that we don't project them out in a negative way or harm ourselves from that emotional storm, that chaos. 
A lot of confusion has been happening lately and it can cause a lot of emotional turmoil. And we are all getting hit in really, we're getting hit in the heart. We're getting hit in really deep spots right now with this uh, Scorpio energy. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And it's affecting your self-worth, Leo. So I feel like you, for the longest time, you've been afraid of this, these eruptive emotional storms that you carry with you. And it is always, you've been self-conscious about it the whole time, but you are very aware of that as well. And that's when we start to suppress our emotions because we know we have big emotions and a lot of people can't handle those big emotions. Um... And then we start to feel alone. It's like, well, if I can't just express myself or fully be myself, um, it affects the self-worth. You don't want to change yourself for other people. So we have to find a way to deal with the emotional storms within ourselves as a, so that we it does not affect others, so that we can get it to a point where we can have more deep and intimate relationships with people. Um, and yeah, spirit is guiding you right now, Leo. You're so connected to your tribe on the other side, the spirit realm, whatever you want to call it, and a warrior behind that. So this is definitely a big testing phase, challenge phase, uh, challenging on you on maybe your knee-jerk reactions, things that just come out of your mouth, ways that you um, may reactively um, <laughs> express emotions like, unconsciously even or you just don't haven't had the control to be able to like keep it contained you know I totally resonate with that <laughs> let's go deeper into this for you Leo and that's a tough one because we want to honor our emotions we want to honor our feelings you if you do not or if you feel that you do not have at, at least one safe person to express your emotions to or even like a counselor which that should be a safe place um if you don't if you feel like you don't these people are coming into our lives our tribe our supporters we're getting support here on the ground floor <laughs> that's what i'm hearing Leo. so allow that trust it trust it and we're getting help because it's it's rough seas right now for everybody a lot of us light workers star seeds we're getting help can <sighs> usually i know when the help comes in i'm like uh oh what's coming <laughs> but don't look at it that way leo <laughs> don't be afraid of your, your emotions don't be afraid of how you feel get in touch with them your emotions are your link to spirit. This is what's going to connect you to your higher self, as well as spiritual union, connect you to others that resonate with you and your energy on a much higher frequency. It's beautiful. We have to tap into how we feel and um, really, truly honor that. Honor that for yourself. Now, with the chaos, oh, oh, this is exactly what was coming through. Okay. So, this internal emotional storm, Leo, that brews up in you and sometimes just becomes like an eruptive volcano, it does a lot of destruction, and you're aware of that. This is why you're afraid of these giant bursts of emotions that come out. When you were younger, or you used to get in trouble for it, you used to get in trouble for. Maybe, you know, as a child, crying or expressing anger or tam tantrums. Um, the truth of all of this is coming out. So maybe you have people in your life now who um, are scolding you and making you feel guilty and shameful for the emotional turmoil that's within you. It's only because, understand this, they do not want to see the truth of what's within them. Know that we are all mirrors. We reflect <laughs> to each other the truth so sometimes when people like to voice their opinions on 
how you are and who you are and you should not ever express to me uh, you know all of that because it's whatever they say know that this is your truth this is your truth and you're actually expressing truth to someone who will not who is refusing to see their own emotional storm inside and that's why they try to punish you for that it will come around we're very karmic energy here so it will come back around what comes around goes around what you put out there you get back and like attracts like so don't take the bait you are not doing anything wrong okay once you come to this realization um and honor your feelings, honor the storm inside of you. It is linked to the parts that you have suppressed, denied, and hid from yourself and from others. And they are all boiling up to the surface. All these inner children within us, um, the angry one, the sad one, the, the protector, the inner critic, they're all yeah, <laughs> acting up. And it's because we don't give that those parts of us the attention and the love and affection that they deserve. They weren't given that attention, emotional support when we were children. And that's how we developed split consciousness, consciousnesses within ourselves. So know that Leo, because Leo is very expressive, dramatic, can be very dramatic, but honor everything that comes through you and, and, and out of you. And of course, we don't want to harm anybody or hurt anybody, but at the same time, find an, a, a healthy way to, ex, to be able to express this inner storm that's in you, whether it be by writing, by running, by getting in your car and screaming, whatever it is, like to, you know, protect others, but try not to go um, too crazy on other people at this time because you don't know what's going to come back at you at the same time. Okay, beautiful. And the light. There is consciousness. There's light being sh sh shining on some hidden parts of us all, especially it, you, Leo, because this is your reading. Honor that. This is bringing hidden parts to light bringing the unconscious to consciousness. It is emotional. It can be a little freaky and scary, but know that this is part of the process. Honor this for yourself, Leo. This is a beautiful part of the process of coming out of your shell, coming out into your true, authentic wholeness. Woo. All right, Leo, let's dive into this a little bit more. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. And I'm feeling that you were punished, shamed for your big feelings. Your, maybe even the way you express them, the dramatics and all. Honor who you are. But if you're hurting somebody, have those dialogues. This has hurt you. I'm sorry. And, you know, try to see I don't intend on hurting anybody. I have big energy. And it, you're loved for it too, Leo. Don't get, don't get it twisted. There might just be one specific person or a few select people that are like, this is not proper. This is not the way that we act here on planet Earth. Right? <laughs> Leo, speak your truth, live your truth, be your truth. That's what I got to say about that. All right. High Priestess of Water. And if it feels good, if it feels right, if you're... If you're coming from the heart and not from your pain, you'll see some magic go down and you'll feel a lot better because you're not suppressing these big parts of yourself. It's a big, that's a internal tornado. To suppress that, forget it. You're going to cause yourself physical harm. You get sick, aches and pains, psychological harm, all kinds of problems when we just try to hold these big emotions in. Oh, yeah. Well, the message I'm getting is uh, King of Swords. That is the cold, hard truth right there. That is the truth. Facts on facts. This is who I am. This is how I feel. This is how I express. I'm sorry if 
I might not be for you. And here's the thing, Leo, not everybody's going to like us or love us. It's just the truth of life. So don't expect that. You're also going to have a lot of people relieved to see you be truthful, the cold hard truth. Now you want to link your heart up into that too. Express your truth. Express your truth. Don't hold back. There are painful things that we have to express from time to time. You do it with love and compassion and care. But don't hold it back. Because trust me, that will come back to you. Other people will hold back from you as well. And then we've just got chaos and confusion at that point. Don't know what's going on exactly. Don't juggle either between either realm. Sometimes I'm expressive, sometimes I'm more reserved. And sure, you may feel that way, but check in with yourself. Why do you sometimes feel it's okay to express and other times it's okay to be um, quiet? As long as you're not suppressing something, it's okay. I'm also getting this chaos, like you're juggling people. You're juggling energy between people just for your safety. Uh-huh, I'm getting it for, it's a protective mechanism that you have embedded in you, Leo. Because you were punished for this, having these big emotions as a child. So to be protective about that, you pick and choose um, how you express yourself and who you express yourself to authentically. Very, very, and, and, and well, we want to take this to an understanding that, I mean, I've had to come to this, this cold, hard truth, too. Um, and, and what's being revealed to a lot of us now are those that we thought liked us and loved us and were supportive of, of us turn. Just do a whole turnaround and are just like, bah, I hate you. Like, the truth comes out that way, too. And it hurts. But to honor the truth, that the fact is that... Um, this big energy is just not for everybody. Not at this time, because there are a lot of people that are still trying to play their little game, trying to, you know, follow the rules of whatever they were taught and told, and they don't want their big emotions coming out, so they're like, you're not for me. <laughs> what we do is we trigger, we mirror that aspect in them that they've kept very hidden and suppressed and denied, and their ego gets angry and tries to lash back out at us. This is a game, an energetic game, which is game of emotions. It can be very dangerous. Don't play the game, Leo. Don't juggle. Don't juggle with your emotions. Be truthful. Be honest. Be real. Be transparent. Be authentic. That takes a lot of work to truly get there. Be honest with yourself about that. There are reasons why we do suppress. Beautiful. So your self-worth will be getting a, a boost. You may have gotten a few confirmations here and there. Um, and sometimes when we go through really, really rough, like our self-esteem has been beaten down really hard. We question ourselves. We, we don't want to hurt anybody. Um, but this communication, along with this message that I'm actually giving, I just got... <laughs> Um, is allowing this energy of self-worth to really move in a positive direction. Movement, choices, decisions. It's your choice, though. It's your choice how you want to play the game. It's your choice um, how you want to think the stories you tell about yourself. This negative self-talk is big right now. Don't do that. It's your choice. What direction do you want to go? You want to move into a new positive direction? Then... Be mindful of the stories that you're, that are going on in a feedback loop around in your head. I actually experienced this last night. I feel like I'm picking up on a lot of psychic energy right now. But self-worth is taking, you know, we're, we're taking a good look at, like, um, how we feel about ourselves. It doesn't matter what, like, how other people see you truly is not your business. That's their journey. Stay in your path. Stay in your lane. Love yourself. Know that you've got this, Leo. You've got this. Express yourself. You're beautiful, beautiful, big, boisterous energy. 
and communicate that with whom you feel safe with right now. And then slowly over time, um, it will start to evolve where you're just organically, naturally all of you and you don't have to suppress any of this anymore. This is definitely linked to, you know, this could be generational. If you're in the millennial generation, your Pluto is in Scorpio because all, everybody in that generation has Pluto and Scorpio going through a big transformation. This also is, has to do with your family, your home life, the legacy that you leave behind, or somebody else's legacy. Um, the magician, magician below that. How we operate with our energy, what we create with, through our energy body, our energy field. I'm going to pull from Moonology, see uh, what comes through for you, Leo. Before we wrap this up, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Doing these two things truly, truly helps with the algorithms here on YouTube to all of us content creators. Helps get the messages out to more people who may need to hear them, as well as helping our channels grow so that we can, can continue to evolve and expand the content that we are creating. So, advice for Leo, please. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse, which is tomorrow. Leo, expect powerful change. Expect it. And what direction is that powerful change going to go into? Well, uh, Leo, it's you. Confidence is your key to success. Yes. You're getting hit in the self-worth department, Leo. Don't take the bait. Know that you are worthy. There's nothing wrong with you. A new start is coming. It's been tough. It's been rough. It's been emotional. Honor your journey. Honor your emotions. I got the chills. Honor the storms that are brewing up and coming up and coming out. They are doing that for a very specific reason. To help you shed a lot of these old false narratives that just are not true about you and your energy. So take good care of yourself, Leo. Uh, <laughs> had a blank. Self-care is a necessity. It is not a luxury. So take good care of yourself, mind, body, spirit. All right, I'll be back next week. Bye.